Hey kids, it's Miss Tiffany here. I'm gonna show you how to complete your Easter craft. We are gonna make colorful sand crosses. You might need an adult to help you with opening up the cross and of course the sand packages. I'm gonna give you a few minutes to get the cross, the funnel which we will use to pour in the sand, and the colorful sand. So I'll give you a few minutes to go get everything. Great, now that you have everything, turn your cross upside down so the hole is right side up and put the funnel in top of the hole, just like this. Now we are ready to start. I am going to tell you the Easter story as we go through pouring in the sand. The first sand color that we're going to use is the green. So grab your green sand and pour it in the funnel just like this. Oops, Miss Tiffany made a mistake. Great. Green represents the palm branches that the crowd waved back and forth as Jesus rode on the donkey to Jerusalem. They shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Next is the blue sand. So grab your blue and pour it in. Blue represents the water that Jesus used to wash the feet of his friends at the last supper they ate before they took Jesus to the cross. Next is the black sand. Go ahead and pour it in. Black represents the anger that people had because they wanted to arrest Jesus and have him die on the cross, even though he did nothing wrong. The next color is red. Go ahead and pour the red in. When they took Jesus to the cross, they nailed him on the cross and he died and he shed his blood. Isn't that amazing that he was willing to go to the cross to shed his blood for us? Even though we sin and we do things that aren't right, he still loved us that much to go and die for each and every one of us. Next color is white. Go ahead and pour that in. After they took Jesus off the cross, they wrapped his body in white cloth and they put him in a tomb with a big stone in front of him. And they were sad, and this was on Good Friday. But however, in three days, they went back to the tomb on Easter Sunday and they rolled the stone away and Jesus was gone. The only thing that was there was the white cloth. Do you know where he went? That's right, he rose to heaven. Next, we're gonna grab the yellow sand and pour it in. Now remember, if you use the entire packet, it might be getting kind of full, so you might have to shake it a little to get the sand to fall down to the top of the cross. So go ahead and pour the yellow in. Or you can just pour half of the package in and you don't have to use the entire package. Yellow stands for the joy in those hearts of those who follow Jesus to know that the tomb was empty and that he is the true risen king. So the last color we have left is purple. Go ahead and pour the purple in. Like I said before, you don't have to use the entire purple package. Purple represents the new life the resurrection gives us for those who accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Jesus is our true Easter gift. Oop, I made a little mess. And it's okay if you make a mess. You can ask your adult to help you clean it up. So once we have all of our sand in, we're gonna put the black base on, top, on the bottom of the cross and turn it over just like this. So now we have completed our Easter cross. And every time you look at this cross, you can remember the Easter story as well as how much that Jesus loved each and every one of us that he died on the cross for all of our sins. 
Thanks for joining me and happy Easter.